Hi. So it was announced today that Apple Music has finally released their own analytics dashboard aptly named Apple Music for artists. First thought that came to my mind was, it's about damn time, guys. Second thought, from a marketing perspective, this is actually kind of a big deal. One of the major reasons why Spotify has been such a focus for artists and their teams, besides the fact they're the number one streamer, of course, it's because we have access to all that glorious data through Spotify for artists. In many ways, Apple Music was always kind of seen as this Me Too product, while Spotify was kind of eating their lunch. I mean, Spotify was way ahead of the curve in terms of bringing streaming, especially to America, and Apple Music just kind of been catching up. But in terms of making these things useful from a marketing perspective, we need more data. We need better data. Apple Music, I thank you for releasing this analytics tool, but here's your chance to kind of outmaneuver Spotify in a way that actually is useful for artists so we can start making money in other ways besides dismal streaming payouts. For Apple Music, I think though, to gain an edge from an industry perspective, I think they should focus as much as possible on an area that Spotify doesn't quite figure out yet, behavioral data. I wanna know as much as humanly possible or algorithmically as possible. What people are doing after they've consumed my music, how they're sharing, interacting, engaging with music, like across the board, and then give me the tools and the pathways to follow up with these people. I wanna follow up with the high intent listeners, high intent towards becoming an actual fan. Spotify, Apple Music, you've facilitated the discovery of our music and thank you for that. Now, empower artists and teams to bridge the gap so we can more easily convert these listeners to fans and ultimately, hopefully, customers. This has been Hashem for Artist Pro. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.